Hello. Okay. So this is a little bit a little while ago I did a review on this. Space Invaders handheld stuff. This is the breakout handheld. Now this is an Atari licensed game, whereas the Space Invaders one was licensed by whoever made it, something like Taiyaki Omatsu, something blah, blah, blah. Don't wanna insult anybody, but yes, breakout. Registered trademark of Atari Incorporated. Right. Um, this is the other uh, carabiner or whatever you call it. The clip thing. You put it on your backpack or whatever the hell you want to put it on. Doesn't matter to me. I don't use it like that. It's a mini game and you have that weird guy with... Yeah. I don't know anybody whose face looks like that. Hmm holding a large jail ball. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so you have a printed LCD screen. The LCD uh, picture printed behind it and then the LCD screen. You have a D-pad. Um, in the other review I did, I said the D-pad was pretty cheap. This one looks the same, but it actually has decent movement and articulation. It kind of feels like it should be there and not just thrown in for extra feature. This is sound. This is uh, serve the ball thing. Breakout. Okay, so let's get into gameplay. If I could get any light. Let me put some more light on this because um, yes, these need a lot of light to see. Right. More light that than has ever existed in the universe. Alright, so here we go. Hit the button. Hit that button. There we go. Uh, score. Yes. High score. Up. Oh. What in the name? I didn't even touch the start button. Wait one second. Right. Um. High score. Or whatever. Yeah. Um. I'm thinking of the other game. I'm sorry. Alright, okay, let's restart this. I'm not going to show you how to get the high score because it doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Serve ball. Return ball. Yeah. What's weird is, um, as you can see, we have slight ghosting, which is not very hard to get by because, you know, your eyes move. That's how they work. So you could kind of focus on the ball. Right. This is kind of hard when you're looking through an iPhone camera. Okay. One weird thing is, if you press um, the D-pad, it gets ridiculous. Oh, boy. Oh, I hit the red thing. Yes. It gets ridiculously fast. Too fast to even see. You would need to... I don't know. I'm not going to make a reference to anything. It's extremely hard to do. Right, coming back at me. Right. Whoa, yeah. Lots of fun, right? Yeah, so I'm not even going to try to get any higher. Um, you do this, comes up with another brick wall. You get hit at 100 miles an hour back at you, yeah, and you break that wall and you win. Not much thought to it, right? So let's shut it off. Take a look at the back. Some cheap metal-y, metallic piece of, yeah, stuff, speaker. Ooh, you could even take it apart. Right, reset button, screw, AAA batteries. That's how most of these work. Uh, I'm not a... Actually, it's a very nice game. It's better than the Space Invaders one because it's as hard as a rock. Like, that's me. Pushing as hard as I can and it doesn't budge. Um, yeah, I say that and then I'll do it and it'll explode in my hand and then cut my hand to bits. But yes, break out. Go buy one for your children to keep them occupied. Alright, so until next time, break out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.